Hello and welcome to another review Life Flight Sim Global. I'm Tom and today we'll be taking a look at Orbix's Olbia Costa Smeralda Airport for FTX Global or OpenLC Europe. The airport is located in Olbia, Sardinia and serves as the main base for Air Italy. The airport terminal is capable of handling 4.5 million passengers per year and has 10 gates, 5 with jetways. The airport is a popular tourism destination for vacation goers from mainland Europe and the UK. Orbix's version of the airport, designed for prepared version 4, includes 130 square kilometers of 30 centimeter per pixel photoreal coverage, multiple points of interest modeled, numerous helipads, sewed jetways, and dynamic lighting. Starting with the airport itself, the terminal and immediate surrounding buildings are wonderfully modeled and textured. Subtle little details can be found nestled into many nooks and crannies all around and bring the airport to life. Animated flags, Orbix people flow technology, and variety of vegetation on and around the airport gives it a nice dynamic appearance. Buildings on both airside and roadside have similar levels of detail. Static aircraft can be added or removed from the gates via the included Orbix control panel. I personally prefer to leave them off since airliners take up three of the five jetways and I would prefer to see AI use it. The Ultimate Traffic Live traffic does occasionally have issues with parking properly, but I noticed no issues with it navigating the rest of the airport. My only real complaint with the buildings would be the glass on the main terminal. I feel that it is in your face enough to be considered a good candidate for being transparent with a lightly modeled interior. At the very least, the jetway interiors would be simplistic enough to be transparent. The airport textures are also nicely done. The ground markings are sharp and clear and seem to match the real world counterpart when comparing with Google Earth. My only complaint here is that the dirt markings on the ramp and taxiways look a bit pixelated almost as if it was an upscaled texture from a lower resolution file instead of nice smooth curves. The effect is much more noticeable up close compared to flying overhead. Moving on to the surrounding scenery, the town of Olbia is included, along with the harbor and, as mentioned previously, multiple points of interest. A number of static boats are also seen docked in the harbor. Flying at typical general aviation altitudes, the town looks like a typical Mediterranean town and the mix of photoreal and autogen buildings works nicely. The textures look great and really do the town justice. I did notice in some areas that there are elevation issues, even when using the recommended settings and a properly configured control panel for Orbix's OpenLC Europe. For the most part, they aren't that noticeable, either being hidden by scenery objects or far away from the airport approach paths. They are, however, still present. I also noticed a number of anomalies with some road bridges. While most of the ones there are very nicely done, I did find one where the river underneath it had an elevation issue that caused it to meet the bridge, as well as a texture error. In addition, within the town itself, there was an area there should have been bridges, but they weren't present. Again, these are issues that aren't really noticeable if you're just cruising around or busy monitoring instruments on approach, but they are there. I also noticed an area that has been built up more since the satellite imagery was taken. Obviously, Orbix can't do much about when the satellite scenery was taken and need to work with what they have, but if you are looking for the most up-to-date scenery available, it is something to keep in mind. Even the almighty beast known as Google isn't always up to date.
All in all, Orbix's Olia Costa Smeralda Airport is a good-looking and well-performing airport. The location is very scenic and offers a nice variety of routes for A320 and 737 type aircraft, as well as corporate jets. Modeling is excellent and textures on buildings are very well done. However, the surrounding area does have some overlooked terrain issues and missing bridges. The airport costs $39.95 Australian dollar, $28.05 US dollar, and $25.02 Euro, and $21.29 pound. This puts it at the same price as Orbix's previously released Innsbruck, Kiruna, and Bilbao airports. It is more expensive than their Stockholm Orlando scenery, but the Stockholm scenery does not include surrounding photoreal textures and points of interest. That said, I feel the price is in line with the rest of the Orbix product line, but still on the high end for an airport of this size. I say that taking into account the release of Flight Beams Portland and Flight Tampa's Las Vegas. Both airports are considerably larger and have surrounding photoreal areas, but Portland costs roughly $2 more and Las Vegas roughly $4 more when looking at the US dollar prices. Fortunately, Orbix frequently has 50% off sales, so I'm sure if you aren't happy with the current price, a possible future sale might bring it into a more reasonable bracket. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I am able. And as always, happy landings.